Hi friends, this is teacher Aura. I'm going to read a book for you when I am stressed. Josh just started preschool and has to go all day, so he can't take a midday nap. Instead, he likes to play. After school, he's very tired but never wants to take an afternoon nap in place of playing. What a big mistake. Ooh, let's see. One afternoon, when Josh returned home from preschool, he was tired and cranky. The way he acted wasn't cool. He stomped about the house with his mouth turned to a frown. No matter what, what mom or dad offered, Josh still felt very down. Look at his face. At dinner time, mom served Josh broccoli on his plate. I don't want broccoli, he cried. It's a vegetable I hate. Josh commanded attention from mom and dad throughout the meal. His fatigue made everything feel like a really big deal. Mm. After dinner, Josh's mood grew worse. He was so grumpy. He constant complaining soon had the others feeling jumpy. Emma tried to tell her parents about her day, but they were busy. Watching them deal with Josh's mood made her feel quite dizzy. Poor Emma. After a while, Emma gave up and loudly stomped away. Dad took notice and stated that he had something to say. We all need a break after work and school. We each need time alone. Starting tomorrow, we are, we are all taking quiet time on our own. Oh, seems like a great idea. Let's see. When everyone arrived home the following day, mom and dad sat the children down before they went off to play. They gave Josh some new toys and some easy books to read. They wanted to make sure he had everything he would need. Let's see. Since Emma loves to make art, they gave her new art supplies, paper, crayons, paint, and pens. Emma loved her surprise. She set up her easel in the den and started to create. Spending quiet time painting made Emma feel great. Look at the beautiful house and flowers she's painting. Mom curled up in a chair and continued reading her book. Dad made pasta and sauce for dinner because he loves to cook. Everyone enjoyed doing things that make everybody feel better. They had time to relax and recharge like Dad knew they would. Mmm, smart Dad. Josh forgot all about napping. He enjoyed having his space. He built a tent out of blankets. It was his sound special place. Inside, he read books and played with his new favorite toy. After time in his tent, he emerged the calm and happy boy. Mm -hmm. The best thing about quiet time is when it's over and done, the family comes together to discuss their alone time fun. They share stories and ideas. They have so much to say about all the great things they've done throughout the day. Oh, Josh got used to not taking a nap in the afternoon. Oh, he was growing, of course. Thought he's tired after school. He enjoys quiet time in his room. With restored energy levels, he feels happy and glad to spend quality time with his family with, without feeling bad. The end. Okay, friends, I hope you like the book. See you next time. Bye-bye.